handled by Mr. Jero is about answer to prayers. So our theory today, we are going to talk about answers to prayers. And the readings are found in First Samuel chapter 28, verse 1 to 20. Also, in the book of John, chapter 15 and verse 7. Learners, today we want to know how God responds to our prayers. In the last lesson, we learned about private prayer and public prayers. What are the public prayers and private prayers? What are the public prayers? What are private prayers? What are the learners? Good. Private prayer is a prayer said by one person alone. Okay? Public prayer is a prayer of a group. Or it is a prayer where there are listeners and hearers. Now, as Christians, we expect God to answer our prayers. God is a loving Father and we are His children. So, God listens to our prayers and answers them according to the book of John chapter 15 and verse 7. Also, God answers our prayers when we decide, when we receive what we have, what we have asked for. Now, some of the things that we ask for from God, there are so many things, but we have just a few that we are going to look at. Um, Things that we ask for from God. One of them is jobs. Can ask for a job. Somebody has done this course and would like to get some work to do or a job. Something else, somebody can ask for healing. Somebody is sick and want, would want to be and we cover from that illness and therefore we keep praying when people go to visit the person in the hospital they always pray for the person and they go to church and pray for them so and once they receive their healing we say that uh, God has answered the prayer something else that we ask asking for is a child a new family needs a child and any time these people will get a child from God because children are from God. Therefore, uh, we say that a child is a gift from God. And whenever this family has one child, they will feel happy. Something else that we ask for is school fees. School fees. Sometimes somebody or a learner is sent home because of lack of school fees. And once the school fees is found, the learner goes back to class and this learner is very happy because God has granted the school fees. Now, let us look at some of the ways God has us in prayers. Some of the ways God has us Christian prayers. Ways God has us Christian prayers.
Number one, which God can answer prayers. The first way is that God may tell us wait. God may tell us wait. Wait. So, when somebody is told to wait, one can wait for so long, you can wait for years. Therefore, if somebody is waiting, what happens with some of the Christians or people of God, what happens is that they become tired and they also become disappointed. They lose hope. They don't find the need to wait for that. So they become um, disappointed. Another way God answers the prayers God may tell us, God may tell us, no, no. We have said that God can say no. There are reasons as to why God can say no. And we are going to fight that. And the reason, one of the reasons is that if Whatever you are asking for, whatever you are praying, whatever you are telling God is not in line with His will. He's going to say no. Something else. If whatever you are asking for is harmful to you, God will say no. Something you are asking for is harmful to those people living with you. God will say no. Those are some of the Reasons why I'm going to say no. Something else is uh, God may tell us yes. God may tell us yes. Why? There are those things that we pray and they are answered immediately. They are answered immediately. Hmm? We are taking a journey. And before we uh, get into the vehicle, or when we get into the vehicle before the, it starts moving, we pray for the journey, masses. And after some time, we are in our destination. So that prayer is answered, and it is answered the same day, the same time, which is very good. So there are those things that are answered straight away. You pray that one day you want to be a, you would like to be a, a certain profession and you find yourself there. Yes, that one is answered, but you will have to wait for the day to come. But there are those things that we ask you for the same day and they come, like the, the journey, or uh, give us our daily bread. We get it. We are given. That one is very... Uh, Away. So, those three ways, wait, no, yes, those are the ways uh, God has us Christian prayers. We also have seen that the Israelites were also uh, praying and asking God to answer their prayers. They needed to be helped in various circumstances. And there were three ways God answered the Israelites. Three ways. Uh, the, there were ways. We also have ways God answered the Israelites. The Israelites. Prayers. The first one, the first way, is through the dreams. Through dreams. So the answer of a prayer would come in the form of a dream. And then it is answered that goes will be given the 
solution, the methods you are going to use, who is going to be involved, you see it happening in a dream. Also through prophets. God used prophets because these are God's messengers. He used to send them to his people to deliver certain answers to prayers or certain instructions. Then there was also another method we were calling Urim to me. This one is another one is called uh, divine guidance. God talks to the person and tells the person what to do. You remember when Moses was told to remove his shoes. It was God talking. Although he was talking from that bush, but he talked and told him to remove his shoes. So that one was a divine guidance. Now, we want to see reasons that God does not answer Christian prayers. Why? They are here now. <clears throat> Let us see reasons why God does not answer Christian prayers. One of the reasons that God does not answer prayer. God gives us what we pray for if it is within his will. If whatever we ask was already <clears throat> in God's plan, it is going to be fulfilled. <clears throat> Something else. God does not answer a prayer if what we ask for is not for our own good. If whatever we need or whatever we are asking for is going to be a problem to us. Or if I am given this kind of a <coughs> gift, I'm coming proud, I'm going to show up, I'm going to eh? Not to respect others, God is going to deny me that one. Do not answer that prayer. So, not for my own good, it is going to be uh, left undone. It's going to be ignored. <coughs> it's going to be, the answer is going to be no. So, if we pray for anything that can harm us, anything that can harm me, the prayer, if, it, if it's, the prayer is harmed, or the people living in the prayer, that person who is praying, if is living with the people who is going to be harmed by the answer given by God, he is not going to answer that one. So three ways, it should be uh, within God's will, he is going to answer that one. If it is for, the, for our own good, if whatever we ask for is going to help us, is going to help that person saying the prayer. God will grant that one. And if it is going to harm this person who is praying, or it will harm person who are living with that person, the, the, the one who is saying the prayer, God will not grant that one. So those three ways. Those are the reasons why or how the the, the reasons uh, why God is able to answer our prayers. Now, things to do to have our prayers answered. Because once we we say our prayers, each one expects to get an answer. And those things there we have mentioned about to do the will of God. And also, if the thing is for our own good and it is not to harm us, God is going to deny us those things because of those reasons. And we also have other reasons why uh, our prayers should be answered. What are we supposed to do now to get our prayers answered? So, I want to talk about things to do. Now that we have known why God cannot answer our prayer. Now, we want to get things that we can do 
to have our prayers or to have to have our prayers to have our prayers answered. What are we going to do? What are we supposed to do? And let our prayers answer. So, when we pray, or when praying, when praying, we should when praying, we should, number one, show a uh, great respect show great respect to our God so when we show great respect a lot of respect in this case God is going to have our prayers answered or God is going to answer our prayer Something else is we should show what we call honor. Honor before God. Honor. Mm -hmm. We honor our God. And when we honor God, we show that honor before Him is going to answer our prayer. We also show, we show what we call um, humility before God. We show humility before God. something else we call forgiving. Forgiving. Who are we to forgive now? Those who sin against us. So, in order for our prayers to be answered, forgive those who have sinned. And if those who have sinned and ministers. Yeah, we have once said this in our Lord's prayer. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. So, those who have sinned, forgive those who have sinned against us, we forgive them. Once we forgive them, God is going to answer our prayer. Also, pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. That is praying all the time and not forgetting to pray. You have um, a routine or you make a time when you are supposed to pray. The way we found some people are doing in Samaria, they used to go to pray at 3 o'clock. So you make your own time so that you don't stop praying at any one time. Also. Submit ourselves to the will of God. We submit ourselves to the will of God. So that is like saying we do what God wants us to do. And also believe and have faith. We believe and have faith.
believe and have faith in God. If we believe and have faith in God, in fact, our God is going to answer our prayers. And lastly, we should be obedient. Be obedient um, to God's will. We have seen uh, in our reading that Saul disobeyed God. And when the second time when he came to ask God for assistance, God said no. God said no. So God answered no because Saul disobeyed God. Disobeyed God. So once we obey God, uh, uh, we are going to be uh, answered our prayers. Now I want to talk about briefly this book of Samuel, First Samuel 28 and, and verse 1 to 20. It's all about how um, Paul uh, Saul was was subjected to problems because he disobeyed God. We see that God's response to Saul's prayer was no, because he disobeyed. Now, from this, this story, we are going to see um, to see or to learn how uh, Things were happening at this time because of uh, because of Saul. We have seen that God answers our prayers through some people. That is what we have realized now. That uh, from the story, We learn that we learn that one that God answers our prayers Through some people he has chosen. Through some people he has chosen. E.g. prophets. So God is going to answer our prayers. According to this story, God uses chosen people, which some of them we are calling the prophets. Also, we know that God answers prayers that are in accordance with His will. God answers prayers that are in accordance with His will. He will answer that prayer which is in accordance with His prayer. Also, Also, we can say that if we disobey God, like King Saul did, 
If we disobey, God will not answer our prayers. If we disobey, just like who? Like Saul? Like Saul did? When we disobey, like Saul did, uh, God is not. God may not answer our prayers. God will not answer our prayers if we disobey. Something else that it isn't God's will to consult mediums and diviners. It isn't God's will. There are those people it isn't, it is not God's will it is not God's will to consult mediums and diviners. Who are the mediums? Mediums are those people those people who communicate. Mediums are people that is mediums are people who communicate. Who communicate with the spirits. With the spirits of the dead people. So, mediums are those people who communicate with the spirits of the dead people. And therefore, we have realized that Saul consulted those people, the mediums, at a place called Edom. Therefore, God was not happy with that one. And we have said that it is not God's will to go to other uh, mediums or to other gods. We, we, in our commandments, we always say, have no other gods uh, besides me or apart from me. So Saul so went to the mediums and therefore that's another uh, evil thing that he committed. God will punish us for disobeying him. Yeah, God may punish us. God may punish us uh, for disobeying. Punish us for disobeying. Disobeying him. So, like Saul, he was punished because uh, the Israelites had to suffer because of this person and he was there as well. He also suffered. Therefore, if we just follow God's rules, we obey, he is going, uh, he's not going to punish, to punish us. Also, we should appreciate that God answers prayers. We should appreciate that God answers prayers. Appreciate. We should have that in us. That God answers prayers. We know we just say prayers in vain. Now, we are coming to the end that 
And I want to say this. Jesus said that if we do God's will, Jesus said that if we do God's will, obey Him, and be committed to Him, He will answer our prayers by providing for all that we need. That is our last word. So, according to John chapter 15 verse 7, Jesus said that if we do all, if we do God's will, obey Him and be committed to Him, He will answer all our prayers by providing for all that we need. to go and answer then we shall see them in our next in our next lesson step to different responses Answer those questions. You shall see them. Come next lesson. That marks the end of our lesson today. Your teacher was Mr. Jerome. Bye.